What? No cockpit? That's right. I've started with the weapons. Uh, sometimes when I do jet builds, towards the end I can get a bit lazy with the weapons and rush it through. So this time I've started with the weapons. Uh, I've still got to clean them up. I've just glued them together. Uh, this is the layout, the weapons that'll be on it with the uh, sparrows. I've got the jammer pod and uh, the AIM-9 NPs I've made up. Uh, I've looked at uh, some references of this aircraft or these aircraft that were in the tactical fighter group in Germany and found some pictures of them flying. Hopefully in a moment you will see those pictures if they're not copyrighted. And pretty much the two couple of photos I found it's pretty much anything goes so whatever floats your boat I guess but uh, doing the wing drop tanks the Phantom looks good with the drop tanks on it no well, a couple of little problems the uh, pylon for the the ECM pod had a ejection pin mark there which is weird but it was a, a shallow one so I just sanded it out uh, the only other problem I had was these the rails that go on the sparrows they're so thin and narrow uh, on the sprue some of them were really warped so I just glued it in sections just to straighten it out um, and then the, yeah no trouble with the fins uh, the pylons for the sidewinders there was uh, we're looking at one two three four five six seven parts to each one so yeah that they're, they're ready to be cleaned up I won't paint them yet I've just made them up it's uh, as you know doing modern weapons is a lot a lot of parts a lot of time involved all right this is the cockpit this is uh the first four steps in the instructions for all the parts i'll paint uh paint it up all at once um i'll be using the decals on the instrument panels uh you can't put or you can but i want to paint it up because the the tub is light grey. I'll be using aircraft grey. I think that's a, the right colour for uh, this era of jets. And the panels are black, so I'll spray them separate and then just they can just go in. Uh, that's the bulkhead behind the front uh, part of the tub, but you can't put that in yet because it sits on top of the uh, instrument panel once it goes in so that'll have to be separate um, yeah so a lot of parts there so I'll paint that up next and we'll have a look at that while I'm waiting for paint to dry on the uh, cockpit pieces I've skipped ahead a bit and just still making up some other pieces to save some time down the track uh, we got the uh, oh, the burner cans uh, we got I've put the flame holder in, but I'll leave the uh, nozzle, I'll paint the nozzle separate so I can get the back of the uh, flame holder, not that you're going to see it anyway, but I'll do it properly. The actual burner can is pretty good, there is a slight ejection pin mark and you're not going to see it, so I'll just leave it. Uh, intakes, on the other hand, have uh, big ejection pin marks. These I will take care of. I'm not sure once they're together how much you'll see, but you possibly will see them. Uh, that's the intake first stage uh, blades, fans. Uh, ejection pin marks like these, I use Tamiya white putty. Uh, all the years I've been modelling now, the, this is... I've used heaps of different brands, but this this has become one of my favourite for uh, fixing up things like this. I'll just use a toothpick, put it in thicker than 
what you need so give it uh, some shrinkage it's it's messy but it's works well <laughs> I have a baby kookaburra sword trying to laugh I don't know if you can pick it up or not they are quite funny when they're learning to laugh. Here he goes again. Like I said, it's messy, but it, it dries really hard. Um, leave it a day or overnight. I usually leave them overnight. I don't. I don't think there is a any. Miracle putty that doesn't shrink, but I find this is the best one I've come across. Well, the other option is to use uh, FOD covers on your intakes, and then you don't have to worry about it. That's the the only thing that won't shrink back is uh, CA glue but you gotta be careful for that because it's a lot harder than your plastic when you're sanding it back alright so I'll let that dry alright uh, cockpit painted up or the pieces painted up I've put some of the instrument panels in uh, can't put the controllers on top of them yet because the decals have to go in first there the, you can see the decals are going to cover all this uh, obviously decals aren't as good as your aftermarket but they're not too bad and at this stage there is no aftermarket for this kit that I'm aware of anyway so I'll be putting the decals on next uh, let, let them dry and then I'll add the other bits and put the instrument panels in so we'll, uh, have, check it out once it's all together and done.